Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Nancy Pelosi has weighed in on Biden's age issue and, well, made a fool of herself in the process. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Nancy Pelosi was speaking with CNN on Monday night when the subject of Biden's advanced age came up. Now, as you guys know, Special Counsel Robert Hur's report points to Biden's advanced age and his memory loss as reasons he would not prosecute the president of the United States when he would leave office. You can't prosecute a sitting president, uh, except for impeachment. But you can, you know, do it after he leaves office. He's not going to do that. Um, I kind of don't blame him for not doing it, only because I don't think he'd get a conviction the same way he doesn't think he'd get a conviction. But... It is ridiculous that Trump's being charged for similar crimes and then you won't charge Biden. Now, in the report, he explains why that is. And I encourage you to read the report so you can understand. That being said, Nancy Pelosi's argument was, I can't talk about Biden's age because I'm older than he is. Nancy, that's the problem. That's the problem. You, Biden, Mitch McConnell, the whole lot of you, the whole lot of you who are older than dirt itself running the country. That's the issue. So maybe instead of saying we should reelect Biden, maybe you should resign. I want you guys to watch this interview and then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Back with us, Congresswoman, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I mean, do you think that is the avenue that President Biden should go down on this? Sort of poking fun at, at I mean, his age is his age. His age is his age, yes. I'll tell you this, though. I've worked with the president for a long time, especially closely as speaker when he was president and now since then. And he knows. I mean, he He's always on the ball. He knows these issues. He knows the legislation. He helped write some of it. He campaigned on it. He remembers it. Uh, anyone who would uh, think that they're at some advantage because of his age uh, uh, thinks that at their peril because he's very sharp. What, what, you know, there are, look, I'm sure you hear this from Democrats all the time. There are Democrats, a lot of Democrats who have concerns, though, about his age, about his mental fitness. Um, how much of you know, him stumbling over th words or, for, you know, saying Mexico instead of Egypt. Uh, what do you yeah. say to people about their concerns? Well, I think that uh, people do make mistakes. I think his age is one thing. That's an objective fact. Uh, his uh, making a mistake from time to time, we all do that. When the former pre ex-president defeated President Trump, made a mistake about one thing or another. He would make the same mistake seven times. It wasn't a slip of the tongue. It was a complete going down a path of something that wasn't even true intentionally or otherwise. So I think that, again, age is an objective fact. As I say, it's all relative. He's younger than I am, so what do I have to say about his age? But he is, uh, again, uh, knowledgeable, wise. And after the football game yesterday, which... I was sad. We, I'm proud of the San Francisco. 49ers. I didn't want to bring it up with you, but, but you since you brought it up, yeah. But I mean, the reason I brought it up is because at the end of the game, you saw experience prevail. We have a new, fresh team. Wait till next year. We're getting all ready for it. But you saw experience prevail at the end. Experience is so important. So Joe Biden has vision. He has knowledge. He has a strategic thinker. This is a very sharp president. In terms of his public presentation, if he makes a slip of the tongue here or there, what's the deal? He is, you, he is, he has, you see he has a difference. what he needs mentally and what he has in his heart empathetic, empathetically for the American people. You